All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our next video on environmental science. This is going to be the second part in our insect anatomy series. Let's get started on this next video. Now, in the previous video, we ended with the thorax. And generally, what we're going to see on the thorax are these adult outgrowths. They are the wings. Now, they're made out of the exoskeleton, and they enable the insects to go through and fly. So we can see here is a beetle with these exoskeleton wings. We all know that bees have wings that enables them to get from flower to flower and collect pollen. And then we can see here, there's different structures of wings. We see these butterfly wings here present. Now when discussing these wings and legs, it's important for us to go through and discuss where they go through and occur on the actual thorax. Now if we remember, the thorax can be broken up into three segments, the pro, mesa, and meta sections here. We are generally only going to see wings located on the mesa and meta sections here. That pro section is going to be designated for that first set of front legs on the insect. So the wings are generally going to be located on the other two sections of the thorax. Now as we move from the thorax back, we see the abdomen. And the abdomen is the third functional region of the insect's body. And the abdomen is again located right behind the thorax. So if we go through and look at this zoomed in picture of this ant, we can see the abdomen is located right here. And the abdomen is going to be really important. It's going to contain the respiratory system, the digestive system, and the reproductive system for the insects. Now there are two specific organs that are going to be really important. We have spiracles and ovipositors here. Now, spiracles are going to be these small holes that allow gas exchange for that actual insect. It's allowing the insect to go through and breathe. And the ovipositor is going to allow female insects to go through and lay eggs. So in this next section here, what we're going to go through and look at is each of these organs in a little bit more detail. Now, if we look at this spiracle here, the spiracle is this respiratory opening, and it's going to be a number of pores moving along the abdomen. If we were to zoom in on one of these spiracles, it would look like this. And what it's going to allow the insect to do is go through gas exchange. It's going to allow carbon dioxide to go through and leave the insect. And then it's going to allow oxygen to go through and move into that insect's mitochondria. So when we go through and discuss these spiracles, it's important for us to also understand that they are on fish. Fish that live in low oxygenated areas are also going to use spiracles as an aid for breathing. So this is a really important part because this is essentially the opening that allows the insects to breathe. They're not going to breathe through their mouth like other organisms. They're going to breathe via these spiracles. Now the other important organ that we're going to see are these ovipositors. And all they are are organ systems that we can see in fish or insects. They can, the same word ovipositor is used for both, but it's allowing the deposit of eggs. And usually they're going to be this spear-like structure located on organisms, specifically insects. So this organ is used to go through and attach an egg to a surface. But if we look at this wasp here, that wasp is actually going to go through and use it as a spear to put it into a host. This wasp is parasitic, and what it wants to do, and what it does, is it goes through and injects those eggs into a host organism, which enables the eggs to go through and be incubated and eventually hatch in that host. So when we go through and discuss ovipositors, they don't have to have this long spear-like structure. However, they usually, when we go through and look at them in parasitic species, do. And what we want to do when we're going through and looking at our lanternfly is see if one of these are present or one of them that's smaller are present. So as we go through and think and look at our lanternfly, we want to go through and think about that. Now the goal of our lab is going to be to go through and look at the spotted lanternfly. And when we go through and place it on our tray, we're going to spread and pin out the wings like this. So what we see when the lanternfly is spread out is again, we're going to see the head, the thorax, and then we're also going to go through and see the abdomen here. And these are really important for us to go through and understand when we're going through and doing this dissection. But we also want to think about the other structures, the antenna, the wings, the ovipositor if present. And then we want to go through and look at some of the internal organs for the respiratory, digestive, and reproductive systems. 
What we also want to go through and look at is the eggs. We definitely want to pay attention to these eggs because they are part of the life cycle. We're trying to go through and connect all of this together. Now the eggs are going to look just like this and they actually meld in with the tree very well. They're very well camouflaged and they almost look like bark. So when we go through and start looking at our lanternflies, we also want to pay extra careful attention to the eggs when we're going through and looking at them. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video and there's going to be a few takeaways that we should have gotten. So did you guys learn? Well, did you learn a couple of things? Did you guys go through and learn about the fundamentals of insect anatomy? So we wanna go through and talk about the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And then we wanna also go through and look at specific insect parts and their function. Not just what they are, but what they also do and the purpose that they serve in that insect. And lastly, do we understand how we are going to apply this to our class? We wanna go through and think about how we're going to go through and look at the lantern fly when we go through and dissect it. This is going to be the end of the video. I will see you all in class tomorrow.